Welcome back to Breakfast Television on this Monday morning. Chris McCuster joining us right now from the 680s Business News Center. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm terrific. And it's going to be another busy week in business, isn't it? Oh, yeah, never a dull moment in the business center, I tell you. Uh, we've got markets looking at gains this month, Melissa. It's sort of interesting given that coronavirus cases continue to rise. Maybe a bit of a disconnect, although markets look way, way out into the future. So uh, markets are very optimistic about all the vaccines we're hearing about and uh, are looking ahead to all of that. So as it stands right now, Bay Street up by almost 12% in the month of November and it's potentially looking at an eighth straight winning day. The Dow is likely going to be the big winner in November depending on how today plays out. Uh, it's looking at a gain this month of about 13 percent although uh, futures markets signaling a lower start to the day. Um, and we're also watching the price for oil. Now OPEC plus was supposed to agree to a delay on a production increase of about three months. Uh, that hasn't happened, although everything I'm reading this morning suggests it still could. So in the early going, we do have oil under pressure. That could uh, put pressure on Bay Street at least to start the day. Gold in the red pre-market as well. So we'll see how it plays out, but a winning month of November for North American markets to be sure. And I'm wondering what you're seeing in the world of real estate right now. Very interesting, right? So the pandemic means you can work anywhere. Uh, and that means that recreational properties are becoming much more popular. So you mean cottages, uh, that sort of thing? Yes, yes. Uh, so in Canada, we're talking about a price increase of 11.5%. This is according to Remax. And the property market, the recreational property market, is expected to increase 8% in 2021. So no slowdown in this area anytime soon. 86% of recreational property regions are reporting now lower inventory as demand outpaces supply. Uh, in Ontario, specifically, uh, the most popular area, more sought, most sought after, Muskoka. Sure. Not surprising. Uh, and most regions surveyed in Ontario reported an increase in buyers seeking properties where they could remotely work. So it's, this... It's it's a kind of a fun time, too, because people, right. I mean, if we can have some fun right now, imagine <laughs> how their life could be different and how right. they can, you know, just kind of envision a new reality for themselves, maybe at a lake somewhere. Well, and it's so interesting to me because you wonder if these habits, I guess, are going to stick. Like, people are working remotely now. Is that going to continue, you know, a year, two years down the road? That remains to be seen, but at least for the time being, people are getting out of the city and moving to quieter spaces to work. Sounds very peaceful right now. But of course, <laughs> a lot of us still in the city or still keeping our regular jobs right now, and some of us getting paid a little bit more. Yes. Our hero workers? Yes, yes. It's so-called hero pay or pandemic pay, uh, and it's coming back to uh, Sobeys, uh, the parent company Empire, announcing that it is going to bring back pay premiums for staff in locations where COVID-19 lockdowns are in effect. So this, of course, includes Toronto right. and Peel regions, along with stores in Manitoba, and this is at least so far. Um, the parent company says the program's coming back simply because viruses, uh, the virus, rather, in these areas have prompted the shutdown of non-essential businesses. So this means each week eligible employees will receive between $10 and $100 extra, depending on how many hours they work and how long the lockdowns last. What could be interesting here going forward is to see if the other grocery chains follow suit. Right, we're watching them, that's for sure. Yes, because there has been a lot of chatter about this. Uh, and when they ended the pandemic, Bay, uh, some people weren't happy about that. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for that update. Nice talking to you this morning, Chris. Okay, have a great day. Take care.